Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. I also want to make sure that I can play with the muzzle. You know, a lot of horses, I can't even play with a muzzle, so how can I even work on, you know, the clipper training, if, you know, if they're not even comfortable with my hands? What if, if they're not even comfortable with the ears, I'm going to play with them, okay? I can blow into the ear, okay? There, she's a little uncomfortable, and I play with it. So what we're trying to do is just make her to a point that she's somewhat comfortable uh, with the muzzle, so when we get to the clippers. If you notice, I'm taking it, and I'm making uh, a bridge here from left to right, uh, could represent an arc. When I come up here, represents pressure. When I come down, the release of pressure. And uh, so all we're doing is getting used to things uh, around her face, around her body, um, and, and we're trying to break it down into steps uh, and uh, make it comfortable instead of going right to the clippers. Uh, sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. I can tell you on this mare, it doesn't work. Now I'm going to get around the muzzle because that's where the clippers are. See, she's a little fussy about the muzzle. Of course, your comment is, well, she's irritated. Yeah, she's irritated. And she's going to be irritated when she feels the clippers. And the moment she's quiet there a little bit, I'm going to quit. I like using a cordless because I don't, when I introduce it to him, uh, I can put it in my pocket if I need to. If you notice, I'm just kind of standing away, turning it on, turning it off. Um, and that just gives her a sense of a reprieve. And uh, I can take, take it towards her, take it away, take it towards her take it away, take her towards her. There, she's kind of concerned. I'm gonna let her run, looking for a softness. This is where people wanna go ahead and, and approach it. I'm looking for a, some kind of ex uh, acceptance. Either the eyes soften or extend the nose, the head to drop. The head went up, the head went away. Anything there we go, the head went down, okay? And then we release, okay? So, and again, pressure, release, pressure, release, pressure, release, pressure, release, pressure, release, pressure, release. We can also do this. We can go like we did with the stick, okay? Because when we approach, it's pressure, and then when we go away, it's the release of pressure. And this doesn't have to be done in one day. You know, you just, you, you start and you, you, you get a foothold. Maybe you just start out with sacking out. It may take you four or five days to sack out your horse, as quiet as this horse is. Some horses might even take you two weeks. It doesn't matter. Time does not matter to a horse. So I'm gonna take my left hand right here at the halter. So she moves her head into me. I can straighten my arm and block her. I'm not forcing her head here. I just have my hand there loose. I don't wanna feel her restrained, like she has to accept the pressure. I just want her to get used to the sound. And then I'm gonna Try it on her shoulder over here, on her neck. Now, if you got small hands, and this makes a, a smaller a clipper unit. There, she has a little bit of problem there. When I get along her jawbone. So I'm putting my, my fingers in front of the clippers so the vibration would be less she's actually moving away from the, the clippers so I'm just going to stay with her okay now this is what happens 
is people let go when they start moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stay with her until she stops and pet her. Good. Now I got the clipper right on her. You could do this over a few days. Every time you get them out and, you know, do it after you worked them, you know, you groomed them up. They're, their mind's going to be a lot more subtle, uh, settled down when you're working them. She's learned to throw her head out of the way. And if you notice, I kind of just go with her. Good. All right. And give her a pet and uh, let her know, let her relax a little bit. Now we got to lick and chew. That's always good. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.